I'm Ravi Best, trumpet player here in New York. What I want to talk to you about today is our breathing. How do we breathe when we play either the trumpet or the trombone or saxophone or a flute? Because as we know, our breath is what enables us to create our beautiful sound to tell the story that we're trying to say to our listeners. So when talking about our breath, let's discuss the first part. When we breathe, what do we do first? Naturally, we inhale. So what I like to think about is that, you know, our body naturally does all the things that we need to do to create that. I.e., I'm talking to you right now, and while I do that, I take a breath. I don't think about it, I just breathe and I speak. But when we play our instrument, it requires a whole other kind of breath. When I'm speaking to you right now, the kind of breath I'm taking is what's called a conversational breath. I'm having a conversation, so I just breathe and I talk. But since we need a whole lot more air, it's another kind of breath we need. But our body does do that naturally. And one of the most natural ways that that happens is when we yawn. Think about it. If you yawn when you're sleepy, you just say, <gasps> your body naturally tells you, I need a lot of oxygen. I need a lot of oxygen to keep going. So your body makes you relax, which is very important, and take in a lot of air. So let's try that. <sighs> See? And I'm sure you felt very relaxed while you do that because we want to be relaxed when we play. So while we're taking a big relaxed breath, how else do we do that? I'm sure with your instructors, many of you have heard about taking a diaphragmatic breath. It comes from the diaphragm, right? But when you yawn, generally, I don't think anyone holds their stomach in and yawns like that. No, your diaphragm, your midsection does extend outward. And from there, the air comes to the upper region of your chest. So while you're yawning, think about that. Consider that. Automatically, your body will relax and your air will fill up from the bottom of your lungs, which is from your diaphragmatic region, and then slowly fill up all the way to the top part of your lungs, which is really important because we need to be able to take a really full, relaxed breath so that we can create the sound that we want. Another reason why I love this analogy of the yawn is because, as I said previously, you will be very relaxed. We want to minimize tension in our bodies. So if I were to put tension in my voice right now, it sounds like this. If I take a very tight breath and it's a lot very tense, you can hear that in my voice. But now, as you can hear, when I take a very nice, relaxing breath, you can hear more resonance in my voice. And that's the kind of resonance we want in our sound, to be able to have a nice, big, beautiful, full, and resonant sound so that we can give the best performance possible and tell the story that we're trying to tell to our audience.